Well, the Iranian government needs to explain that what was the exact objective uh, because uh, many people believe that it doesn't make any sense that Iran uh, carries out uh, such missile strikes at a time when it is grappling with the Middle East crisis. Of course, that uh, one objective could be to send a message to the adversaries of Iran that uh, if they use countries like Pakistan or other neighboring countries against Iran, if this conflict expands, then Iran has the capability to deal with them on multiple fronts. Uh, but I think uh, this was miscalculation on their part if they were thinking that Pakistan uh, might join the Western bloc uh, because history shows that Pakistan has always maintained a delicate balance in its relationship with Iran and uh, its adversaries. Uh, Pakistan in the past resisted pressure not only from the US but also uh, from the Arab countries to act against Iran. So uh, Pakistan uh, is not uh, or Pakistan was not going to do anything that uh, would hurt uh, Iranian interests. So uh, the most uh, probable explanation could be that uh, probably uh, Iran carried out uh, this attack to pacify their own audience. Uh, one view is that uh, uh, they are, uh, you know, under sanction for many years and they are feeling the heat. And uh, by launching uh, these attacks, multiple attacks, because they have uh, attacked not just Pakistan, they have also carried out similar attacks in Iraq and Syria to convey a message uh, to uh, the people in Iran or uh, evoke nationalist sentiments. But of course, uh, the cost of this move uh, when it comes to, I think, launching attacks in Pakistan is huge because this has created uh, a great mistrust between the two countries. Uh, Pakistan was compelled to respond. Uh, Pakistan carried out uh, these attacks and uh, it really set a new precedent. Uh, well, whether this will uh, increase tensions between the two countries, uh, I think uh, uh, Pakistan uh, is really sending a clear message. While it did carry out uh, uh, retaliatory strikes, but at the same time, Pakistan is emphasizing that uh, uh, it is not uh, in uh, it is not uh, interested in escalating the tensions. So uh, they are uh, emphasizing and stressing the need for. Uh, uh, resolving all this, those issues through dialogue and uh, Pakistan says that uh, uh, its uh, uh, offer is still there. So it is up to Iran uh, how uh, you know they uh, respond. Uh, if they uh, want to de-escalate uh, the situation then I think uh, they can uh, go back to the drawing board and engage with Pakistan through proper channels. But of course the situation is still I think very much delicate. We have to wait for uh, I think a couple of days that how Iran is going to respond after this. As far as uh, India is concerned, we all know that um, India is uh, certainly would be very happy to see, you know, tensions escalating between uh, Iran and uh, Pakistan and uh, uh, justifying the Iranian attack, it uh, I think is not surprising given the fact that uh, India also uh, did try uh, this adventure uh, in February 27 after the Pulwama attack, but of course that Pakistan responded uh, in kind. But uh, if we see the statement of the uh, uh, Indian uh, Foreign Ministry, uh, I think that would be interested. Uh, it, it would be interesting now, since Pakistan also retaliated and said that Pakistan eliminated certain terrorist uh, uh, bases inside uh, uh, Iran. So uh, if uh, the logic is the logic given by India that uh, you know uh, India has a zero tolerance uh, for uh, uh, you know any uh, terrorist activities or terrorism and believes that every country has the right uh, uh, to defend itself and Pakistan has also taken the same plea. So if this was the logic, if this was the principle uh, that uh, India uh, was telling us that in that sense it should also uh, back uh, you know, the action that uh, was taken by Pakistan. But of course, that they would not do it. Uh, you know, uh, their statement uh, tacitly endorsing uh, Iranian airstrikes, of course, uh, stems from the fact that uh, Pakistan and uh, India have, uh, you know, issues uh, uh, for uh, several decades. So it, it, it does make sense that why, uh, you know, India was backing Iran on this particular question.